Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. Antediluvian Runes is the name of uh, the game. We want to get the Antediluvian Runes in Africa. And we brought our third team uh, with us. Let's just double check what we want to do. Uh, I like that healer feature. That's really good. Mind sense isn't bad either, but two willpower means that he can use his psi abilities more often. And 30% bonus healing will go a long way for us. So there you go. We got uh, Asian cow finally a second class. So what do we, what do we need? We do have a sniper. Frontline. Midline, another midline, another sniper, and uh, I think we wanted to make uh, Vanessa a full support. This was uh, that strange. Oh yeah, it was. No, we did. We wanted to make her midline as well. That was a strange um, combination where we did have two priests already, both of them potentially together with kind of assault <clears throat> or heavy classes. And then Vanessa here is, uh, sorry, uh, Asian cow here, uh, would essentially need to be a frontliner. So if we make Asian cow kind of uh, the reset build of uh, this group, then what we could do is give uh, them assault as well and essentially use adrenaline rush and a melee weapon as a true alternative to to what we've seen before the only downside to that is i've not given him the mutated head that makes him immune to uh, to dazing so after the adre uh, adrenaline rush, he would be just left uh, to his own devices. We could pair him with a heavy, and just make it really a front line. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think the disadvantage um, the disadvantage is moderate. <clears throat> with the adrenaline uh, rush and not being immune to it I mean it it sucks but it is okay mm. ignore pain is a fantastic ability by the way so almost want to uh, skill into that but equally giving him a better chance to actually be proficient with a weapon and uh, having that assault training I think that's good I like the combination. Uh, we do have no more points left over, but yeah, with dash and ignore pain, plus rapid clearance and adrenaline rush, it will be a long shot to get uh, to get him fully going. But I think it's not a, not a bad idea, and we do have the necessary ammunition, also the necessary pistol ammunition. So he is accurate enough with uh, that rifle. Okay, cool. And he does have armor break, so we can give him actually the laser rifle because armor break come uh, the armor reduction comes from his abilities. So in terms of options here with keen eye, weak spot definitely is a great alternative. I think we're going to go for that. Close quarter evade is fantastic as well. And we're a little bit light on willpower, so that would be something that I'd like to do as well. But armor penetration, I learned that, is definitely the name of uh, the game and snipers that can take that away. Uh, the entire armor on a, sl uh, on a spot would be good. Inspire will be the next for Incy Vinci. Um, this here is combination of priest plus assault. So mind sense is good. Onslaught is also good. Fits uh, the build very well. Justin here 
can take triplet drones, which would be good. But think, I think what we will do is Overwatch uh, reduction, which in combination with his Sinaldrin crossbow will get, always give him the chance to Overwatch with just one, uh, zero action points. And that's quite helpful. Yeah, Craig uh, waits for weak spot as well. Yeah, and Vanessa waits for her second class at the moment. So overall, we're fine. I think we can take on the Ancients. We have enough healing. Do we have enough ammunition? I would say overall, yes. Just checking all of the ammo here. Okay, cool, good, guys, let's deploy and give it a go. All right, we landed, pretty open terrain, oh my gosh. And we already found the golem. I don't want to fight in this open terrain where we'll either need to camp down here or over here. I think the left-hand side is a bit better. So before we blindly go in, let's check is there, if there is someone over there. I can make a difference. The answer seems to be no. Okay, we can move over. Let's show them what we can do. Uh, there is a chance that there is someone all the way up here. Moving in. It's not a very high chance, but there definitely is a chance. And where's our other sniper? Double tap. Sits in here. I like having multiple angles on a problem. This here is a position that Steven can uh, take uh, once Anthony has moved on. And I tell you what, it's not a really bad place Got you a little present. to put uh, the turret in the first instance. Before we're then moving over. Good. End of first turn. Okay, we're starting. Where's the spider? I gotta be careful if you shoot them against... ...stairs or other objects. You can't really... ...use them afterwards. They just disappear, fall through the world or something. Ready. Moving to coordinates. Kyle moves exactly up to here. here. Great. Asian cow helps with the flank, just in case someone is up here. Vanessa stays in full cover. Murphy is over here. everybody regains which means it's Vinci stays over here sniper is currently just barely plan? outside of the regeneration area but that's okay I got mean, you covered we're fine they're not getting past me Oh, 
Okay, end of turn. Just to double check that there is no one up here. Okay, well it seems to be okay. Now starting on the left hand side here. We've spotted a few of the enemies. Getting more spiders out. Oh yeah, he does have a lot of Oricalcum shields. Pretty sure he's not alone. I mean, this guy might be in a cohort of three. They always come in pairs. <laughs> All I need is a clear shot. Ready. I see him. Just a bit off. We're continuing to hit the sky. We can kill them right away. That would be fabulous. What are we doing? Good. One down. In that case, we're just overwatching. I tell you what, uh, we need to remove armor. Yeah, engaging. Ah, come on. Seems to be a pretty difficult shot, even for a sniper. No way. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, immediately moving back. We have been sold out. someone flanking us I'm prepared Yeah for now I think we're just Making sure that this guy here is not going to cause any trouble. Removing armor. And we're good. just need to spawn uh, enough spiders so that they continue fighting the spiders instead of us. Good shots. Good shots. Ah, 
How many of them did we just hang her? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an entire horde. But luckily for us, they are on the other side of the map. Zooming in. Okay, so I see how it is. Yeah. Tell you what, your shields will not help you. It's hard to shoot like this. Get rid of uh, the guy over there. He's not yet fully dead. So let's do a couple of obvious maneuvers. More spiders. One of them. Just using the actions of the characters. That will have the least chance to do anything useful. Good spider moves up, spider theoretically. Could walk in and deal a lot of damage. That would be very much worth it. Preparing to fire. None of these guys are near, near death, unfortunately. Could move to here, two shots, and back into cover. The shots, however, need to hit. Have a much better plan. Ready to engage. Miss aiming. Come on. Uh, can't shift actions over. can do is a bit better overwatch same here for Anthony
Uh, it's worth uh, to invest just one more remote control. Hit five instead of three. That was a fantastic hit. Too far away for heavy weapons. And we need to keep her in the middle of everything. So all the way over here, I'm preparing a jump for next turn. Cool. Super helpful. We're dealing tons of damage. Before doing nothing, Overwatch wouldn't trigger on that distance. Taking a shot is the better alternative. We have Dash. Positioning over here, I think we're better off. Moving. Positioning over here. Hmm. They all see still seem very tough so a temporary expectations to hit anything meaningful here got you covered more overwatch and i think we're done this is a dangerous flank This time he will die for sure. There's no coming back from that positioning for him. But we also got to heal up because we're taking some hits now. Still need more spiders. They're killing one to two every round. Plus, plus we're also destroying them. In all fairness. Talking about the worst possible time in, uh, timing in human history. <coughs> We have problems. They are not unsolvable, but we do have problems. 
Let's Confirming target. start with a couple of the solutions, hopefully. All I need is a clear down. shot. Good. That's one down. Asian cow slowly but surely recovers. Steven moves over and we need armor shredding. Which, funny enough, his gun is providing. Anthony moves up. We will heal you full later. For now, this needs to be enough because I need all of the action points for our turret, which now is in a prime position. Maybe can't really kill him fully, but we can uh, dish out so much damage. Hopefully, many of his body parts are gone. Incivinci stays exactly where they are at the moment. Leg disabled. You can always shout at him. I'm ready. I need more damage. Way more damage. So ignore all of uh, these clowns and we're instead going for the big guy. What's our move? More damage is what we'll get. 600 left. I'll play it safe, although I know that we could Enemy. maybe get it, uh, get the guy down. And by playing it safe, we're focusing on healing. I'll get you medicated. We always have to shout in order to make him less efficient uh, this turn. Thank you. 
we're using all of uh, the abilities that we do have in order to not enough. just dish out a bit more damage. Oh no, even more over here. Oh, this is going to hurt so bad. Okay, we're open to a shot from here, which is not good, but it's only so much I can do. The spider here should hopefully act as bait. I think we don't need the shout. We're instead going to bombard these guys even more. Shielding and equipment almost down. I do have the Orocalcum protection, which makes them very difficult to fight against. We're not controlling these guys very well. Golem is dead. That, that one worked out well. But we're not controlling the rest very well. I need to heal up and these guys don't really give me the time to do so. Luckily the spider here is thinking for us. disabled body parts at this point. Do we have a plan? Kai moves up. Count to ten. Treats Three. himself with a med kit. And we're watching. Like it's safe. Okay, so we do have an issue specifically on that side of the map. Not a lot of hits. So we'll put that in. Okay. And we're 
very nicely flanked, which is the big problem here. Starting to move into very solid cover. Hmm. This is the point in the game where a few of the enemies yeah. should start falling down. Otherwise, we're going to have an issue. It's hard to shoot like this. room for the others. So close. Almost down. Overwatching. Okay, cool. What was that? We need to deal with this flank somehow elsewhere. So, we're, uh, so, and the way to deal with it, funnily enough, is to kill those guys first. So that we fight against one side and not against two. Dangerous. Overwatch is in this direction. ourselves over here but that would be taking the front line ourselves almost the other option is over here Heading out. which I think is just more solid choice Okay, we have no more spiders because they basically killed the last one and I didn't have the action economy to deal with uh, even more spiders. The only thing that we do have is the duplicate, which hopefully will keep those two guys busy. This is not an optimal position to fight for being cornered. And although they are not uh, particularly accurate, it's just a matter of time until we're going to lose uh, body parts. 
and that always requires our uh, medic to run up. We also can't cluster to uh, to intense because if we're sending in a cluster, they have an even easier time to deal with us. Like I said, we need to clear that left flank. These guys here have a nice high ground position. Not sure how to break that one open unless they are jumping down or coming closer to the edge. This time has done a phenomenal job, MVP of the last round. Uh, ready. Stupid Oracalcum shields. I think this one here is a really decent option. It's not great, but it is okay. Weak spot allows us to continue hitting that leg, and if we're lucky, comes online. All I need is a clear shot. We can get this guy down. isn't too bad. I think there could be a kill. Just barely not. That gets everybody in the uh, range. to focus yeah we can't move any further so we need to shoot whatever is available that one was okay Getting a, a lot of damage onto that uh, thing. Fortunately, remote control has its limits as well. The power being one of them. Okay, reload. Spider drone up there. Hitting that stupid shield. Yeah. Steven moves up. More damage on the shield. Unfortunately, nothing else I'm we here. can do from here. 
We need to kill the bad guy. On it. Guy dies. In Sivinci could jump somewhere safe and hit a lot of them with the shout. Seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's barely, barely, just ever so slightly out of range. Over here wouldn't be too bad, would it? trade-off between hitting a few of them and not completely missing the goal post. Funnily enough, I think besides that one guy, this here is the best position. So that's what we are going to do. Taking four out. do have one enemy over there to worry about. Need a better position. Moves to here. Overwatches. Okay. Well, here we go. They finally have caught on to that little uh, gun there. shots yep one up here and one on the left hand side and then the rest is disabled for now goes for the turret misses it I can't shoot. Unfortunate. To that in a second. What are we doing? Have to focus. Oh, 
Why can't I? Oh hit no! Anything? So close! Oh, better work. And yet so far away. That's it. I'm dead out here. This I'll guy's almost down. Zooming in. But you know how it is in life. Almost gives you almost nothing. Be right there. Over to here. Hostile neutralized. Very good. Biggest problem is over here. So yeah, we're we need healing, uh, and that requires recovery. Pretty. Did the guy even take damage? No. Well, we're we are reducing the the armor. Good, one down, a few more to go. So our main job here is to remove actions. And not to kill, although killing would have been nice as well, but we would leave this guy open. He doesn't have arms anymore, he could drill us, but we could equally just kill him and then shout for both of these guys. We'll take maybe one hit sure how that would play out so this is a no-brainer now the question is well, we, maybe we can do a compromise right Good. so that's a kill and we can still move mostly far enough away so that no one there could hit us with a drill. Stephen Mandy walks over to provide will, po uh, will point uh, recovery, which is important. Aiming. The 
Stay calm. Breathe. Focusing on getting this guy down. And since we have quick dru uh, Drew, uh, we have anyone? another overboard shot. Yeah, our leg is injured, so Anthony is not going to walk anywhere anytime soon. Just getting enemies down, reducing their willpower. And I think we're done. Unless we have more. Nope, we got more. Might lose our turret. Come on, miss. All right, turret down. It sucks, but it is what it is. over here twenty twenty yeah I think we're just going for it both of them more screen uh ready Fantastic, that's one more down. And since we do have the option, let's Confirm try to... Okay, that's, that's indeed a long shot. I have to focus. That's it. I'm dead out here. That's better work. Playing it safe. Okay, cool. Well, we're continuing with just Get hit hit trying to hit his shields. This place stinks. Finally, the shield is gone. of damage which is good Steven moves up Ready. so that's important Getting the body parts back up. Switching. Okay. Couple of things. Number one. Get this out. Number two. Kill the guy. Number three. 
Overwatch to hurt the other one. And we're down to two enemies. Level range, which is important. NC begins to move up further. And whilst we're at it, I want to repair his broken body parts. Start with getting the shield down. Can hit anyone, damn it. Reload. Very nice. Put another du uh, duplicate out. That and Overwatch. Asian cow moves up. Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, that was a decent turn. I'm getting there. Pal slowly but surely moves up. And we're done. Bait again. Interesting. Incy Bitsy moves up. Not enough will points. We need to recover. Okay, cool. Well, I think we need to kill him this turn. Lots of armor penetration. There we go, and finally, that is it. What a close mission! Okay, we got another antediluvian ruin. That reparation will take a bit. Yeah, we're still <clears throat> short on tech, but look at that. We got another Arikalko mine. And I just realized we can speed up the process of uh, resource gathering just by having aircrafts kind of in the air. So that's interesting. That'll be important for later.
Okay, I need to get uh, the... Uh, the soldiers here back to the base. Very soon. In the meantime, Prime Team in Helios 5 and Helios 6 still need to recover. So let's put them into Frozen Circuit. For now. Okay, Frozen Circuit, we'll put one person into Helios 5. And who else? Well, we only got we only got one person in Helios 5, but that's okay. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is there is a mutane field right over here. So we can move over and just get a few more resources that way. Let's let them just go one dip. I want to see if that actually speeds it up. Good, unfortunately we can't trade for any of those resources. And that will be our next mission. Thunder and Sunshine. Still an active structure down here, so the moment that our Prime Team is good again, we should be fine. We should uh, fly there. There is another protein field here. I tell you what, we're moving back to base. And we can then use the uh, people that are currently at Phoenix Point, basically put them onto the aircrafts and whilst the other ones, uh, the, the soldiers are actually regenerating, we can fly, trade a little bit and maybe get a few ticks of, um, which one is Protein? Oh, okay, this one. That's not bad, that was for the rocket launchers and all the sniper costed all three of the resources, the melee bat uh, batons costed uh, Oricalcum. Currently we're getting plus 12 oricalcum, so I'm not even sure if we're getting uh, resources faster by just having someone in the in the orbit. I don't know, it almost seems like we're just getting them as fast as before. In terms of manufacturing, we just lost uh, the turret. So Let's keep in mind we need to uh, manufacture one of these and I don't I don't want the sh shotgun but I would absolutely want to have this one-handed melee weapon and yeah, we only need 50 oricalcum for it so that's that ain't bad The shark gun here. I don't know who would use that shotgun. I'm not the biggest fan of shotguns so far. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing them dirty. Maybe they are good. Definitely want a few of the rocket launchers because the fact that there is no ammunition that we can build kind of tells me this might be a no ammunition weapon, which would be awesome. The uh, most 
the reason why I'm sometimes not using the heavier weapons is because they, they cost a lot to refill. And then finally the sniper, where's that? Over here, cool. So, wow, that would be awesome. 180 and just a lot of piercing would go straight through uh, shields. We, we need three of uh, the snipers, just for good measure. Definitely a couple of the grenade throwers and a lot of the a lot of uh, the uh, melee weapons. I hope we're finding an assault rifle as well. That would be dope. Yeah, that would be great. But I think the only thing that we're currently having down here was called the crystal crossbow. Doesn't necessarily sound like an assault rifle. Uh, we'll, we'll find that out whether or not it is one. Guys, thank you so much for, for uh, watching. If you have a alien assault rifle, feel free to aim it straight at the like button and uh, press the burst three shots or three hits and give the video a like. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.